Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Your daily astrology reading for October 18th, 2024 is the waning Gibbous Moody Moon in Practical Taurus. Sextile, our work ethic, Saturn, retrograde in intuitive Pisces. Stay focused, keep centered. This is what strengthens our self discipline. That is the power of efficiency. Your Elder Futhark Daily Rune for October 18th, 2024 is Algees. Algees, the letter is Z, the meaning is elk. Its associations are protection, awakening, shield, defense, higher life, connection with the gods. Today, you might have divine insights that come your way. Share that wisdom with others. Your daily romance angel oracle card for October 18th, 2024 is deception. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. This card is a loving nudge for you to be aware of deception within your relationship. This could involve something mild, such as run-of-the-mill politeness, where your partner is afraid of offending you by sharing true feelings. Perhaps you're the one wearing the mask because you aren't disclosing something to your partner. Deep down, you know what this card pertains to. The romance angels are trying to protect your heart. Please say this invocation, either silently or aloud. Romance angels, I ask that you give me clear guidance that I can easily notice and understand to reveal the truth about this situation to my conscious awareness. Then notice and trust the signs that follow. This card is also a reminder to you about the importance of being genuine with your partner. Although discussing your true feelings may be uncomfortable, it will improve your relationship on many levels. Your Daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle card for October 18th, 2024 is Forget-Me-Not. Card 6, Forget-Me-Not. Departures. Tie a ribbon around your finger today. Surely it will remind you of something. As you move along your path in life, there may be experiences and people that leave you along the way. No matter what sorrow this may bring, always look for the gift they have given you. There is a gift within everything that comes your way and it is up to you to allow this gift to be recognized for what it is. Some partings feel sad, some are a relief, and some are joyous. One thing is for certain, all things change continually. So learn to go with the flow. Some people have to leave so that you or they can grow. Sometimes they come back and sometimes they do not. Ask the fairies to help you with your feelings in order to move forward. Life is continuous and non-ending. One does not move to another city and stop existing just because you can no longer see them. So it is with the passing from this earth plane. Life continues, but here on earth we cannot see the life in the form we are used to. Without change, there is no growth, and our souls become stagnant. Accept the changes and departures as part of life's continuance. Life is evolving as it should. After all, people do not stay in the theater after the show is over, do they? It's important to examine past relationships. What did you learn from them? What did they give you? How did you bless each other's lives? It's okay to grieve for a bit, but do it with gratitude. Whether they are in another city or have departed the planet, you can send them messages from your mind, and they will receive them. Just be calm and relax, and think what it is that you wish to tell them. The angels, guides, 
and elementals will help deliver your message. Your chant. I ask that my heart be filled with the lightness and joy of a fairy's heart. I know that all things are manifested for my good, even if I don't always see them in the moment. I receive and release those who come and go in my life with love and blessings, no matter what the circumstances. So be it. Your daily star seed oracle card for October 18th, 2024 is We the Hathors. We the Hathors. Deep love. Mother's milk. Birth as a portal. Birth is a portal that ushers in new life. The Hathors are here to remind you that you're a child of the Cosmic Mother and you're being called to be held by her deep, never-ending love and embrace. This is a tender, nourishing card reminding you to receive the deep, deep love of the mother's embrace. The Hathars know that the journey on earth can be rocky and lonely at times, but you're being reminded to rest more deeply in the mother's arms. This is a card of extreme potency, of femininity, of creation, and birth. You're being called to mother yourself and others too, to surrender to your sacred femininity, to create and surrender to your own creations, to hold and to be held. You're being called to remember your place in the web of life and to realize that the cosmic mother is watching you every step of the way. You may be going through a transition right now, moving, from one way of being to another. If so, you're being reminded that you're cradled in a sacred container, that you're more held than you can possibly imagine, and that you have access to more love than your heart can bear. If you're struggling in any way, you're being reassured that the things will work out. Open yourself to receiving the overflowing love from the Cosmic Mother, flooding towards you from every direction. Let it stretch your heart. Your starseed activation, place your hand upon your heart and whisper the following, I allow the deep love of the Cosmic Mother to wash over me. I'm loved. I'm held. Your daily Priestess of Light Oracle card for October 18th, 2024 is Wisdom. Wisdom. Learning. Joy. Art. Music. The goddess Sarasvati holds a musical instrument in two hands and extends her other arms outward in joy. She stands at the door to the temple, encouraging you to enter a new period of learning and exploration. This card heralds a time of deepening wisdom for you. It may be gained through personal investigation or through school or other formal courses of study. Don't dismiss this potential for learning. There is profound gratification that comes from this pursuit, whatever the subject may be. It is possible that your path of study will relate to some form of art or music. If you have an interest in these or other creative endeavors, now would be the time to dive right in. Take a class, go to a museum or surround yourself with music and art forms that bring you joy. The swan represents the connection between the mind and the heart. And as you open your mind to greater understanding and joyous new experiences, your heart will glow with inner satisfaction. In addition, your life force will sing with beauty, grace, an irresistible attraction. Affirmation. I always choose to learn and grow. 
The music and art of life inspires me. Your daily energy reading for October 18th, 2024 is the astrology is telling you progress is made by being disciplined. LG says wisdom is headed your way to answer your questions. The romance oracle warns that someone deliberately is deliberately leaving things out. The fairies remind you that some people are only meant to hang out with you for a season. Now you, you would know why. The starseed oracle suggests you ask the divine mother for help. Okay. Uh, the Priestess of Light Oracle reminds you that wisdom is a choice. If you never alter your behavior, you don't have any. That's very true. Wisdom is a choice. You have to seek it. And if you're not seeking it with the intention of what is the best thing for me to do? How do I best handle this uh, situation? How do I best respond to the stimuli? What did I learn from this lesson that I just had? What am I going to do differently? Your brain does not really, your subconscious mind cannot really <clears throat> do this thing that we think it can do. And that's just, don't think about that. No, minimally, whatever that object is that you said, don't think about your brain has to think about it to wipe it away. In order to not think about it at all, you got to think you got to choose something instead. Instead, what are you going to do instead? Well, instead of freaking out when this person uh, texts me, I'm just gonna remember that they are wounded like this. Or that they need my grace today. Or that I'm supposed to this. I don't know, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be a person. I don't care what it is. I'm just giving you examples. Okay? Maybe there's a person around you that you need to reach out for. Possibly even a uh, mother role. If you have somebody that's in that role for you. I have had uh, beyond just my mother, but um, other mothers. But I don't, you know, I love Caroline, but they're, my other mothers are not creeping. But they do often have uh, spiritual abilities, is how I'm going to put it. They're often healers in a similar way as I am now on this part of the journey that I'm on now. Okay? So I have learned to be this way because I have sought it. Literally, as part of my morning uh, preparations to prepare the Eucharist for myself, I literally say a prayer that uses the words asking God, specifically, like the living God, the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, grant me your like wisdom, understanding, discernment, like, I mean, it's just a really long list. The things that we know when we're going out in the world, when somebody is saying, act right, you're supposed to be displaying. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm saying I gain it as frequently as I do for those who find something about me that is admirable, which is often, I have to say, confusing to me. It's because I seek it. I seek it and I seek to slow down so I can hear him better so I can help more people. And sometimes that means people are here for a season. And if somebody is deliberately trying to deceive you, then yeah, they're, they're meant to be in your life just for a season. And that can be how you show creator the wisdom that you've learned from your past mistakes. Either by maybe having a wise conversation with this person and deciding if there's any potential future for any future interactions because you think trust can be regained. That's certainly a way of giving grace and compassion. Or by attempting to have that discussion and discovering that there is no way this person is going to be behaving any differently. And that's wisdom in and of itself. And deciding their parting ways so that you can keep yourself on target and surrounding yourself with the people around you that should be around you. Well, that can be the wisdom that you need to gain too. I've learned all these lessons myself. There could be many, many more that this applies to. 
And may you find the wisdom giver that offers you what you need.